All right, so here we go with Stanley. It's our one of our first summer cuts starting for 2019. We have his choker on him right now because he is a uh, chewer. He will chew this groom loop off. He's accosted me two groom loops over the, over the last five years. So we keep the choker. Mom bought two chokers because she left one at home one time. And last time he chewed through a groom loop. These suckers are eight bucks. I mean, they're eight, you know, anyway, um, they're not cheap, right? You don't want to have, you don't want, they can stick around. These groom loops can last like the, your entire career if you do it right. So you don't want every dog to come in and chew it down. So he's a chewer. You have different dogs like that. So we've got this uh, pretty, pretty good neutral here. Um, he's a little bit rambunctious as well. And he's a little hyper mom said. So he might be unruly is exactly what she said when she walked in. We do a summer cut about once a year. And I've known this pet parent. Man, the repeat business is amazing. Always have a good communication with your clients so they stick around and do a good job each time you work with their pets. This is her second pet with me. I groomed her last uh, standard poodle, oh no, dots, let me see, hold on, Doberman Pincher, until she passed away. So um, if they love you, they will keep on coming back. So we do a summer cut on him about once a year. And last time we groomed him, he was real, real um, jumpy and and disobeying a little bit so she said he'll be very unruly today and I said how do you know she said I could tell in the car all right so we're gonna do um, these coats you can do a 10 down or a 7 reverse you'll see once you start doing a 10 down or try the 7 reverse which is more dangerous in my opinion you'll see why right so the hair is so thick okay and for a dog that we have been shaving once a year for at least five years or so and he was a rescue dog you will see like all oh, this hair is just fine. It's not affected. Uh, some people's opinions on the hair that you can't do a double coat, yada, yada. If you have done it your career and a lot of groomers that are too busy to watch our YouTube, you know, they can tell you because I've taught, had conversations with them. If you don't know, then you should not judge it because look at this hair. It's healthy. It's fine. It's grown back thick. So there's not a problem shaving the dog. Okay. And I've been doing this for 16 years. I've never had a dog come in that didn't want, the pet parent didn't want to shave down because it did something to the hair the last time. They usually love it, actually. Okay, here we go. We're going to get started. I'm going to try the tin down so I can kind of show you the difference. But it may or may not work, and I might have to just do the seven reverse. So it gives a tighter cut and smoother. All right, here we go. Well, actually, I, I better do a before picture. Mom did say the only thing she wanted us to leave was the tail. So we don't kind of shave the tail because the tail becomes a weapon when it's shaved. It becomes a sword, man. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm just going to get in there. The hair is so thick. So I've got my Andis 5 Speed. It's got a cord wrap on it. And I am doing a 10 blade. See, it's really thick. If you if you don't know, look, it, this would be if you would just bathe this dog, it would be completely matted. No brushing happening here. Okay, you can tell a groomer will be able to tell as soon as they start getting in here that there's no brushing happening here. Maybe some de-shedding a little bit, but if if at all. So keep your keep a steady hand. And try not to draw any lines, any crazy lines, and then you won't be able, you won't have to come back and do too much after the bath. It is already like 80 degrees here in Texas, and it's just April 5th, 2019. So we will start to see a lot of summer cuts, I think, coming in. So I've got him pretty low, so don't go down too low, Dee Dee. You know, bring the table up to you if you start getting to a point where you're leaning down. That way, you're not hurting your back. Hello? You're late, so I didn't go live. Okay. You live. Well, I, well, I was thinking about it. Do you want to? I'm recording now, though. At this okay, point. Go late. Do you want to go left? It's a little 
yes. Camera was all up and then I disconnected it for. So I don't know if I have it on right or not. And he's uh, real interesting. If I like leave the table, I can't mess around too much. He'll move around. He's not. He doesn't come in often enough. Although he jumped on the table by himself, he doesn't come in often enough for me to trust him. Stand there without being a uh, start acting crazy. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna come back after we get most of the hair taken off. All right, here we go. It's a nice 10 slash seven reverse all over haircut. Did a toenail trim, light trim on the tail. Blended in forearms there. Seven reverse, two guard and four guard reverse on the head to blend that. Get ready to go to the bath. Whenever you shave the forearms, it makes them look really bony. So I didn't take off all that. Yeah, good boy, Stanley. Do with the camera, you know. Sometimes you don't think we. After the after a before and after picture, there may be some touch up that go on still. As you start seeing stuff, once the camera ends, doesn't mean everything's over. Not all the time. Okay. Stanley. You did a lot better than last time over here, though. Can I see your ear? Don't get upset with me. Don't get upset. Be careful. David said you didn't want to let him get in there. Look, get the ear flaps. Look how dirty these ear flaps are. Mm -hmm. Just brown. How does a dog get so dirty? Well, he hasn't been in in a long time. So it's okay. He might be rolling around like Faith does in the dirt. This is dirt, David. They're outside on the ground. We're going to see his reaction. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so tell YouTube Live right now, why do you get him shaved down? Because he loves it, he loves all the petting afterwards. Really? Yes. You can tell he loves it. Yes. That's awesome. He does. He gets so much more affection. Really? Yeah. Because you want, you're not going to get all hairy from yeah. it. No Because, cool. look at me, I wear black all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the, the dog hair is always all over me. Oh wait, pull him, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Have a dog? Wait. Yeah, we can. Wait one second. Okay. All right. She has to wait a minute. All right, you guys. We'll be right back with you. Okay. Isn't that great? Isn't that cool, you guys? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I forgot. Sorry. All right. So happy? You like his haircut? Oh yeah. He did a lot better than last time. He didn't chew anything up either. You had the thing, right? Oh my yeah. God. Look at his neck. It is so, you saw his neck before being shaved, didn't you? Like how, so I'm listening. Do you have my phone? I, I mean, look like at his collar anything. right now. Huh? Look at his collar. That was it's all, so loose. That's all hair. Oh, that's all hair. Here you go. It's, man, his collar is loose when you come in too. Oh but not, so you don't notice it like that. But now it's really.